Hey, welcome back to Snapball Games. My name is Max, and I'm back with another Popper League. And I'm going to be playing this Mardu Initiative deck. And this is a continuation from the last video I just posted where I brewed the deck. Um, it wasn't actually too much going on because the idea for this deck came from a previous brew, which was a, a Boros Initiative deck that I've played through several leagues on my channel and actually did pretty well with. And the idea behind this deck was okay, we want to still play Boros Initiative. It stemmed actually from one of the previous videos as well, when I was playing Red Green Monsters, and we played against Boros Initiative. Then I was like, oh, I saw they had Dross Forge Bridge, and I was like, oh, they're probably playing Refurbished Familiar. I don't think they were, though. I think they just had some Black Red Bridges. But regardless, I am playing Boros Initiative with Refurbished Familiar, and then because of that, made some other changes to the deck. In the last video, uh, basically I talk about playing these Inspectors over Spirited Companion because they make an artifact. They're also a 1-2, but that's nicer with Familiar. We're playing a few more artifact lands, um, just so our Familiars cost less. But otherwise, we're basically the exact same Boros Initiative deck, also playing Galvanic Blast over Bolt with the slightly more artifacts. Hopefully these Galvanic Blasts work out, but we'll see. Still four Ephemerate. Ardent Elementalist, Palace Sentinels, Goliath Paladin, Prismatic Strands with two Faith Excluding as kind of like the Boros Init com like uh, package. Um, three Inspiring Overseer. It's kind of nice against Refurbished Familiars too, just because they draw a card and then can trade for the opposing Familiars. Two Cast Downs. That was a late initiative. Um, initiative. That was a late addition to the deck um, over Journey to Nowhere because I was like, ooh, I can get it back and keep looping it with Ardent Elementalist Ephemerate Loops. Um, and Cast Down is just a better card than Journey to Nowhere. So since we are dipping our toes into Black for Familiar, I thought, oh, what's two, what, how, how much can two Cast Down hurt? And it probably can because we're probably gonna die when we won't be able to cast it because we don't have black mana, but we're gonna try. Only one Dawnbringer main. Um, another thing to note, is after I built the deck, I was like, oh man, we don't have any like actual graveyard hate, no Nihil Spell Bomb, no Relic of Progenitus, anything like that for Snackers and other graveyard decks. We only have Dawnbringer as graveyard hate, but I'm going to run it as is. Hopefully we don't get too punished. I don't think Snacker is like that good against this deck. Um, so I think we can just like initiative strands, block with flyers, and uh, try to go about it that way. Another thing I wanted to talk about before I get into the league is uh, Refurbished Familiar plus Ephemerate. I played one game with this deck, actually, and I cast, like, turn two Familiar, turn three Familiar. I was just doing my thing, discarding their cards. Then they had zero cards in hand, and I was, like, on your upkeep, after you draw your card at, in your draw step, Ephemerate, target Refurbished Familiar, and, like, almost do it as, like, that rat combo deck from the past, except it's just, like, so good this card seems so good in this deck so really excited to try this out again i usually mention at the beginning but my youtube channel is youtube.com slash snapbolt best way to support me is just subscribing to my youtube channel watching my videos so thanks you for everyone who's interacting with me uh, and supporting me so far i've had a great time returning and playing these popper leagues so uh, let's see how we do in this one let's go game one all right welcome to round one we're against bongo 411 or bong 0411. Would you like to play first? Yes. Snap keep. Bridge. Basics. Cleansing wildfire. Galvanic blast. Faith is looting. Everything we everything we want to see on our opening hands looks great. Let's see what we're up against. Tron. Okay. Well, I'm tempted to just start cleansing wildfiring them right now. Because I can still play Overseer next turn, and that just take that just takes them off of Tron for even longer. I think I'm going to do it. I don't know if I need more mana right now, and just keeping them off of Tron seems good. Especially I might draw more cleansing wildfires, so let's just go. Mono Black Tron? Or is it, is it just uh, Combo-Tron? That's probably what it is. Ooh, mismatched Tron lands? Don't like seeing that. Yeah, it looks like it's Combo-Tron. Okay, I think I'm going to play Great Furnace Overseer. Pass the turn. Ooh, 
Ooh, there's familiar. Familiar is great, especially with this ephemerate. We can fight over their resources. Oh, it looks like um, they're going to have Tron anyway, so that sucks. So I probably want to go bridge into familiar for one mana. They discard a card, attack for two, and then just wait on the ephemerate. I don't think I need to rush on ephemerate. Probably want to just keep discarding their hand with Ephemerate Familiar, though. I think that's better than me drawing cards. Is just discarding all of their cards. They discard Crop Rotation, sure. We also have this Galvanic Blast for some reach. We're... In, they're going to have Tron, but we're doing some pretty good stuff too here. Okay. We have eight mana. Mirror Retriever. Sure. They're going to like deadly dispute the Retriever, get back Expedition Map. That'd be fine. I guess they could have interaction for this ephemerate. It's possible I should have just done it on my turn, but I'm I'm waiting. Just gonna I'm gonna go for it though. Ephemerate the familiar. You discard a card. Nice. Glad that worked. They discard a grotto. Seal to this trigger, and then make them discard another card. Another bridge. Okay, I think I just start with Faithless Looting here. Wasn't very good. Probably just going to flashback Faithless Looting right now. Leave up Gal Blast is all I can do. Discard Bridge Bridge. Got to go Mountain. Flashback Looting. Wow. Definitely didn't want to draw those. They have two cards in hand. They discarded double grotto, so our discards didn't really do that much. Uh, Eviscerator's Insight's pretty good. This should be a pretty tough matchup for us. That's hard to be. We have to keep them off of Tron, which we just weren't able to this game. I'm not going to fire off a Gal Blast. Maybe discarding their cards was worse than us drawing more cards. Also, we just... Faith is looting, flashback looting, hit almost all lands. They're just going off over there. Yeah, because they can draw so many cards in that deck. I guess if I find more Cleansing Wildfires, just keep going after mine because we've already killed one. We do get to take the initiative, which they probably won't be able to take back, so... That's decent. I'm just not sure how much time we're actually going to have. We'll start by attacking for four, play Paladin, pass. Pretty straightforward. I guess I get Swamp here.
I even forgot that that's another way to fix our mana, so initiative even helps us fix our mana more than I expected. Rowan's Grim Search. Yeah, so they bargained this, they sacked an artifact, they look at the top four, put two of them back on top, and the rest into the graveyard, then draw two. So they've been star star, now they're just continuing to go off. They have nine cards in hand, but they're at 13. They're probably going to weather the storm here <clears throat> for a bunch of life. This is going to be my guess. And then we probably just forge up our inspiring overseer because I'm more likely to want to... Well, maybe I'd be familiar. I was going to say I'm more likely to want to blink familiar and paladin, but... I'm more likely to actually blink Overseer now than Familiar. I don't think discarding cards does anything, so yeah, I'll put the counters here. But like I said, this is looking pretty bad for us. We need to find more Cleansing Wildfires. Another option is to go Lost Well, but I don't think I want to do that. Do they not have Weather the Storm? No, they, they do. They gain 21. I mean, they're going to have to keep doing that every turn, or most turns, but they probably can do that. Just going to forge here. We draw another land. Attack. Ardent Elementalist. More Goliath Paladins. Those are probably some of our better draws. There's Foundry, sure. Haven't been F6ing, but I'm going to F6 for now and then try to turn off auto yields if I want to Yalvanic Blast a Golem or something. Or if they play a creature that I might want to Blast, then I'll just try to turn off auto yields here. But until then, I'd rather just use zero of my time and let them go. They have 15 cards in library, so I'm feeling like I'm probably going to get comboed. Another Golem Foundry. I do have 6 power in the air. Candy Trail. I wonder if they can't go infinite. They are playing pretty fast. Zero top, two bottom. They have one swamp and one treasure left, and now another power plant. Blood Fountain. They only have one creature. I think they only have one retriever right now. Okay, so I'm going to trap them. Trap. You lose five. Another land. Wow. That sucks. So they can make one three three right now. So whenever you cast an artifact spell, I'm fine to attack with Paladin here. They go to nine. Okay. They gain three to twelve. We have this Galvanic Blast as well, and we have six, seven, eight, nine power. They're going to be able to make golems this turn though, and gain some more life. They have seven cards in hand. One top, one bottom. Crap candy trail. Yep. There's altar. I assume that's going to do it. Okay, Molten Gatekeeper, sure. And then they go Retriever. So, if I kill Molten Gatekeeper, they can still just unearth it. And then just infinite Retriever loop. 
And there's no way for us to break that up, right? Because of Gatekeeper also having an Earth. Okay. They got it. Dust to Dust actually seems pretty good because they rely on like Energy Refractor, Candy Trail, even exiling like Icker Wellspring after they play it. I think it's a good way to, to fight their deck actually. Plus they have other artifacts that they really care about. Cast Down comes out. Strands can... We didn't even fight a strands. Wow, we drew so many lands. That was insane. One Dawnbringer is okay, actually. I mean, in strands, isn't that bad either. I just don't know how many strands we need. Because, like, let's say they cast that Molten Gatekeeper. I cast strands. Then that can buy me a turn where they can't combo me. And then... As soon as they try to do something on their next turn, flashback strands, they can't combo me again. So maybe I want even more strands, but I think I'd rather just have like Galv Blast to kill them. Inspiring Overseer is a little slow too. I don't think I want more Dawnbringer Clerics. I think I'll just go with this. Just bring in the dust to dusts. Let's go game two. Got a mulligan this. Alright, this isn't that good, but I think I'm going to keep... Just put back a Goliath Paladin, I think. I can also put back an Overseer, but I think, given my hand, this is a lot better to have. I'm pretty far from Paladin. I think that's the more reasonable play. Power plant math. Probably just cracking clue on our next turn if we don't find anything. They are trotting up quick. Oh man, this is brutal. This should be, like I said, a bad matchup for us, but this isn't over yet. Really wanted the third land just to play Overseer, start flickering it, keep drawing cards, going from there. Okay, tap land sucks, but... Maybe they don't have colored mana. Hmm. Guess I just go for this now. This also unlocks my Galvanic Blast for four. If I draw planes, I can dust to dust, but I'm pretty far from that. There's Colored Source. Now they probably have Deadly Dispute. Yeah. And that gives them another Colored Source. I think I will fire off a Galv Blast on face. It's not very good, but it's what I got. Need to use my mana efficiently, I think. Just for you. I'm gonna flash I'm gonna rebound the ephemerate. Get another clue. Okay, there's planes. So now do I hit treasure plus refractor or star plus refractor with with dust to dust? Because I'm definitely casting dust to dust. I could wait one turn on dust to dust actually. Hmm. I think I will actually wait on dust to dust. Just play Overseer. 
Put a little bit more pressure in play, draw a card right now. There's Cleansing Wildfire, okay. Hopefully we draw another untapped land next turn. Rowan's Grim Surge. So yeah, going for the Death Death would have been pretty bad, I think. They go to 12. Maybe this disruption will be enough. I can also cleansing wildfire them to try to take them off Tron instead of dust dusting is an option. Eight mana. One green mana. What is this? Oh, Fanger and Marauder. Okay. And then sacking the refractor, maybe? Gorilla Shaman might clues away. Okay. That's annoying. I think I still just have to Gallop Blast this. I lose my clues, no matter what. And they gain 10. All right, I'll just kill it. I wasn't expecting them to bring in Gorilla Shaman. Oh, they, they messed up. They left me with, with one clue by mistake. That's huge. I'm kind of thinking Cleansing Wildfire then is more disruptive. They have another mine in the graveyard right now. Just hope this takes them off drawn. Because they don't really function without without Tron. Ooh, I could have tapped red source, red source, because then any land I any untapped land I would have drawn would have allowed me to dust to dust this turn, but it I didn't anyway. Gonna have to crack this clue and let them gain five life. Sided out my cast downs too, which played right into their hand of Sidian Marauder, so. Two mines down. <laughs> Classic Tristron things doing Tron things. I've been on the Tron side of it many, many times. There's Retriever. Okay, so I can exile Retriever and Refractor. Okay, I guess I guess not. <laughs> can they Retriever back itself? They get back at Icar Wellspring. Seal to that. They're gonna gain so much life here. And then they can they can flashback insight right now, actually. They might even just wait. They have eight cards in hand. That makes my dust to dust awkward here. I mean, this is just gonna be so tough. We don't even have good graveyard hate, like I said. Another dust to dust. Something, but I don't think that's gonna be enough. We just the way the game's played out, we haven't had a good opportunity to um, fire off these deaths. Like, they have Insight up, so they can Insight sack their Wallspring right now, which they're going to do anyway. So I'd rather just get initiative going, I suppose. Probably should have gotten another red source. And I guess I'm forging onto my Inspiring Overseer. I just am not seeing a way where we can win this game now. Maybe by dust dusting their combo and then Ephemerate Looping, grinding them out. They have 11 cards in hand. They went to main two. Maybe just to see if we were F6, which we are, but... 
think clock is real and want to just get this get this one over with because we're getting we're getting owned. Our like cleansing wildfire targeting them strategy has just not worked out at all so far. They've been having the extra Tron land that we've killed. So we never even like struggled to let to to get them to you know for them to assemble Tron. They've never struggled, they've just been doing it easily. Okay, let's forge onto Overseer. Forge here. Another dust to dust. So I'm sure they have like deadly disputes, Rowan's Grim Search up, all that type of stuff. I think it's not getting better for me to wait on the than just to start dust the dusting now. And that since I have so many of them, I think I should just start firing them off. Let's go here. What is this? Ghostly flicker, both of those things. Mystical teachings. Getting deadly dispute. Yeah. And then where do they sack? Wellspring or retriever, probably retriever. They might need it to combo. Yeah. Okay, well, I can exile two of their candy trails. Oh, that's annoying. They can pop one right now. I guess I'll just exile refractor plus one candy trail. Then they just pop it right now, and I can't go to main two or anything, so I just do these. Cycle Polluted Mire. Obviously, if I targeted the Candy Trail, they would have just sacked that. They're at 34. Yeah, and maybe if we had... Prismatic, maybe we should have just kept four strands in the deck as a way to stop their combo. Retriever, Retriever. They have another Retriever in the yard. Six cards left in hand. The Hill Spellbomb, sure. Expedition Map. Maybe I just exile both of these Retrievers here. They only have one left, then maybe they can't combo me. They can gain infinite with this, but I guess we might be able to beat that by decking them. I'm going to try to exalt both of these retrievers now. Hope they don't have a way to sack them. They have mystical teachings in the yard. Red mana. Candy Trail. Interesting sequencing that they didn't want a Candy Trail first. They're pretty close to comboing. Because if they have the, uh, is it Phyrexian Altar? Sack a creature, make two mana. They can Infinite Loop Retriever, and then they're just missing the Molten Gatekeeper. Oh, Scattershot. Kill not quite all my stuff. They're one spell short. So they have 10 copies, right? One, two, three, four. Yeah. 
So they're one spell short, so I can chump the Marauder if they don't kill... Oh no, they don't need to kill a Overseer, so they can kill Inspector and Paladin and then take the initiative. But then I can attack with Overseer, take it back, and play another Paladin to get all the way to Archives. I only have one card left. They might be out of gas, potentially. Oh, they're killing the Overseer. Okay. I have another Paladin, though. I guess I could even just take this hit for five. Sure. Maybe that's wrong, but... I'm just going to play another Paladin. They get Swamp. They have 18 cards in Library. Refurbish Familiar. Alright, let's lead on that. Play Paladin for Trap. Probably should have chunked, because then I could have dust the dusted this turn, but I was hoping they just have nothing and I dust dust next turn. They wouldn't have had that swamp, they would have had to discard their last card. But it's tough to say that that would have mattered. I don't think I needed to goad anything. I guess I could have goaded their Marauder. Maybe that was better. Goad Marauder, block with Familiar and Paladin. Their other last card was Expedition Math. Thing is, they have triple Candy Trail and Chromatic Star and Nihil Spellbomb in play. So they can draw like most of their remaining library. So yeah, it's making me really think I should have just dust blocked and then play familiar, dust the dust both retrievers, and then hope they can't combo. That would have been better. That was just a bad play by me. I think I just punted. But they have blood fountain, but yeah, without if they only have three. Retrievers total in their deck, then they wouldn't be able to combo. Okay, GG's. That was a pretty uh, demoralizing match. We just got completely destroyed. I, again, should have made some different decisions, but... Quick 0-2, let's go round two. Alright, welcome to round two. This hand is pretty bad. If we're against mono red or something, we just get completely destroyed after Mulligan, I think. Please, no. Guess I'm keeping. Uh, put back like one of these inspectors and an overseer, I guess. Hopefully Dawnbringer's good. I want to discard this Prismatic Strand to the Faith of Slitting for quote-unquote value. Vault. Blood Fountain. Our sideboard is really good against Affinity. That's one thing I wanted to mention with these Boros decks. You get like the best sideboard cards in Popper right now because you get Gorilla Shaman, Dust to Dust. You get good cards like Dawnbringer, Cleric, and White. Um, you get Pyroblast. So Pyroblast, Gorilla Shaman, Dust to Dust. Gives you a lot of affinity hate. That being said, we're just getting completely destroyed this game. Still might want to play looting this turn and then find a tap land. I can still play Thraven Inspector potentially. So let's discard Prismatic Strands and Paladin. Just because we're so far off of Paladin. Could discard Dawnbringer Cleric as well, but maybe they like run out of munitions or something. We'll want the Paladin later. Just still pretty far away from, from it. Okay. Got 
strands up. Not very good against Divinity, but we got it up. They have four cards in hand. I get to play a Familiar. They're going to Deadly Dispute here. Just another Icker Wellspring. Okay. We need to find lands. Mirror Enforcer. Sure. Three cards left for them. Then Blood now. Makes sense. Discarding Snacker. Then get Snacker back. Yeah, that's really good. Land. Galve Blast. I think I'm still just playing Familiar. Pass the turn. Hope they don't have a Deadly Dispute. They discard a blue card, so it's just Grixis Affinity. I'm probably blocking Snacker, flashing back strands. Oh my god. Okay, we do have Dawnbringer, but... They're going to get the familiar. There's nothing I can do. I don't want to flash back strands right now. I guess I'm just blocking Snacker, taking four. And then Dombringering the munitions. I don't think I want to strands. Two cards left. Land. Okay, land is good. That's a start. Just going to play Cleric now. I don't want them to have more mana to sack more Wellsprings. They're stopping during my draw step. They're going to munition something right now. Another uh, thing I thought of with this deck would be to play the red uh, energy bolt spell. I don't know the name of the new cards yet. And then the one mana... Um, the one mana return target artifact or creature from your graveyard to the battlefield, but you have to pay energy equal to its mana value. Um, that would be a nice little package in this deck because that one mana return artifact or creature, like if you could get up to four energy, then you could start returning like Ardent Elementalist with it. Um, so that, that could be a decent little energy package. But maybe you just need to be Jeskai for Jeskai energy. If you want to go that route for the one one mana draw, get two energy spell. I'm just going to take again here, go to 11, because next turn I can Galvanic Blast the Mirror Enforcer potentially. Reckoner's Bargain, get back Snacker. It's pretty good. Affinity with Snacker does seem really good. I didn't even think about Blood plus Snacker. That's sweet. Another? Oh no, just Icker. Okay. Cast down. Problem is they have Blood Fountain. Hmm. I mean, I guess I just cast down the Enforcer? Like, what else am I doing with it? It's not good, but... Could have cast Faithless Looting, but I do need to kill the Enforcer, even if they can just Blood Fountain it back. Refurbish Familiar. Gross. Do I need to just discard Galvanic Blast and hope to draw lands? Or do I just discard Elementalist, go Hellbent? 
Elementalist isn't even seeming that good yet. Just gonna have to rely on our sideboard hate cards here and not mulligan to five. We have two Gorilla Shaman, four Dust to Dust. Could bring in a Pyro Blaster too as well. Tithing Blade, sure. They're just gonna double Tithing Blade here. No. Okay. They attack for two, we go to nine. They have two cards in hand. I don't even want to kill a familiar because then they just get to blood fountain it back. Killing snacker is also pretty bad. Okay, familiar is a good draw. You discard a card. I guess I'm just cracking clue right now. Now I can flashback strands named black as I block one of their creatures. It's not that impressive, but something. They could flip their Tithing Blade, but nothing I can do about that. Is it only craft as a sorcery? Yeah. Thought cast. Oh no, there's undoing. Don't want to attack first. Okay, so I'm going to go block the Snacker. They're probably going to draw three, but I I just don't want them to re replay Familiar after Blood Fountaining it back. So I have to block here, and then Strands, name black. I'm still fighting, but yeah, it's not looking good. Oh, my refurbished familiar also didn't deal damage. Forgot about that. Forgot strands goes uh, both ways. Thought cast, sure. Bridge, they probably like more thought casts in hand. Ephemerate. Okay. Let's go attack for three. Play Inspector, and then, ooh, they're gonna they're they're gonna Blood Fountain back and forth, or maybe, and then I could ephemerate my Dawnbringer Cleric, and then exile the Enforcer from the yard, which I'll do. If they go for the Blood Fountain, no, they're just going for a Reckoner's Bargain. Jeez, I could discard their last card but then they just get to draw three more cards. I think it's worth it. I did choose a creature I control. Oh, I forgot to turn off, turn off animations. Try to remember to do that after this game. Oh, man, their last card was Gallop Blast. Okay. We're at nine. They're attacking for four. We don't get our ephemerate at all anymore. They have a bunch of cards. Five mana? I would just flip Tithing Blade. Don't think we have any outs. We have three mana. Let's just go to the next game. Okay, sideboarding. We get Gorilla Shamans. Which often can, like, they're bored with so many untapped artifact lands. Gorilla Shaman in those games is just like a KO. All the strands can come out. Dombringer is actually okay too. And what else can we go down on? We can go down on, like, Ephemerate, Inspector. 
Aspiring Overseer is a little clunky. I think Goliath Paladin might actually be good. That might actually be what like we want to get to eventually. We can also even Cleansing Wildfire their lands, potentially, if they don't have any basics. I don't think I want Pyroblasts for their blue spells. Let's just go with this. Keeping the Faithless Lootings. Maybe, maybe looting is bad, actually, because I don't even have strands to discard anymore. All right, let's get Inspector and Ephemerate back in there and take out the lootings. Yeah, I like this look. Let's go. Let's go game two. I just turned off Animate Summoning Sickness. Hopefully that helps our lag a tiny bit. Yeah, snap keeping this they mulligan into six. Now the question is, do I lead on Inspector? They mulligan into five. I think I lead on Rustvale Bridge. I'm also not going to Cleansing Wildfire them because I can just Shaman away non-bridge lands. So I think I want to just lead on Bridge, turn to Wildfire ourselves, go from there. But yeah, these post-board games are just so, so much easier with two Shaman, four Dust to Dust. Like, we're not supposed to win game one, so I guess that, that's the time to mulligan to five. And, these games are, you hope to open playable sevens, lands, with a hate card. Opponents take you on the five. Most likely, what I found doesn't really like help you at all, but when your opponent, especially online, tanks on a mulligan decision, like, they're on five right now, they're tanking for this long, it's almost like certain that they're going to keep. They're just deciding what to put back. So you're like, okay, you can start thinking about the game a little bit. Like, okay, they're going to keep five. Let's, you know, go from there. Okay, now I Cleansing Wildfire for Swamp. So I can cast my Familiar. Ooh, nice. These are costing three mana right now, but I guess not because I can go Inspector, Inspector, Familiar, which is sick. Okay, well, now I have to either discard a familiar or an ephemerate. I think I can just discard ephemerate. Now we have some options. I think the best line is go... Drawing a land was actually good. Or I guess it doesn't really matter, but I can go shaman, kill your vault with swamp, Play two inspectors. Alternatively, shaman, kill your kill your vault. Play one inspector, play familiar. I guess that's better. Gorilla shaman, kill this. Oh no, I oh, I just totally messed it up. Wow. I was thinking, I just was thinking I could play one of these for one, so I just didn't play an Inspector this turn. I mean, it probably doesn't matter too much. They're going to Gallop Blast that, see if they even do anything else. See if they have another bridge. Okay, they have another, another uh, untapped land there. Still was a bad play by me, I should have had one more Inspector in play. So now I go Inspector, Familiar, and then Crack Clue. Nice, and the next turn I can double Familiar. They could still get out of this game if they're if they draw well. This game is not over. Deadly Dispute Away, that, get back Snacker. They're doing it. Yeah, Snacker's good against Familiar, too. Ardent Elementalist. Well, that is really good. I can Elementalist get back Ephemerate. I think I just start with one Familiar and then play Elementalist getting back Ephemerate, but obviously I won't be able to use it now, but... Still think this is the line. Attack for four. 
Oh, they discard a Gal Blast. I wonder if they have another one. And then just play Elementalist, getting back up memory. And they kind of have to kill Elementalist now. They don't. They probably don't have another removal spell then. They would have they probably should have done it. And sure, they can draw out of this, but we're also in a state where if we draw Dust to Dust at any time soon, it's just so bad for them. Another Ephemerate is actually a really, really good draw. Start with Familiar. And then I go attack with everything except Elementalist. They'll probably trade here. And then do I want to Ephemerate a Familiar now? No, because I want to try to Ephemerate Elementalist. And then <clears throat> if it doesn't work, I can try to cast another Ephemerate on an Elementalist to save it. Let's just let this happen. I think I do it. I think I do it now because I might want to get back Cleansing Wildfire and Cleansing Wildfire then. Let's see if this works. Deadly Dispute. I can just let this happen because I have another Ephemerate, so. Yeah, if they drew, drew Gal Blast and cast it, I, I'd still be fine. Okay, now I go Cleansing Wildfire, yes, Seat. They don't have a basic. And then I go I think I'm fine to ephemerate the Elementalist now and just get back Cleansing Wildfire again. And then I'll play a land. Nice. This is looking good. They have a snacker in the yard, but I don't care too much about that. It's just doing a little, getting them a little value, trading for some of our familiars, but that's not like really what's gonna make or break. Okay, so they're gonna shaman for one or two. Shaman doesn't kill flyers. They don't really have good stuff to sack. You know, Icar Wellspring, sack that and treasure. Kill our ground creatures. Then we just get to ephemerate our familiars. Make two mana, yeah, Shaman for two, and then Deadly Dispute the Shaman. Nice. Get back, Snacker. Sure. They play it a bridge. Now let's go. I'm trying to cast it. Ephemerate the Familiar. Seal to this ability. And Ephemerate the Summoning Sick Familiar again. They discard some cards. And there's Dust to Dust. Nice. So I guess I just get their Black Sources. And then I'll Cleansing Wildfire myself. Yep, I want to use the ability, just get Mountain and Gorilla Shaman. Uh, no need to play that out to try to kill Treasure. Yeah, okay, we got him. Okay, let's just draw Dust to Dust one more time. Dawnbringer's not that good, but again, I can disrupt their... Like, if I kill their creatures, and then I can exile them with Dawnbringer Cleric, and I can kill Munitions, which is pretty good against us. Do I want, like, a Pyroblast or two? Like, they probably... 
They could only have a couple blue spells in their deck. Do I want the Overseer back in? I don't think so. It's just jam. Are they playing 61 after board? Or were they playing 61 the whole time? Oh man. Oh man. Oh man. They mulligan to five again versus this hand. If we lose this, they mulligan to four? Okay. If we lose this, then affinity's broken. If we lose this, then it's officially the bridge's fault and not the new cards that keep getting printed. Let's go Planes, Inspector, turn two, we can crack clue. Now, kind of interested in playing bridge on one. I'll just play bridge. This is such a good hand. Add some hate. I can also just kill the vault right now. Although they probably have a deadly dispute. I guess that's fine. If they go deadly dispute and then like kill the gorilla shaman because I have two dust to dusts, I think it's worth it to just kill the vault and then I'll actually do it on their upkeep just so it's even more annoying for them. Okay, well now we have to do it now. And now if they just play another bridge, we just, they'll concede the game, I think. Yeah. They just mulligan to four. We add Shaman into double dust to dust. It's just pretty gross. Yeah, okay. One and one, see you in round three. All right, welcome to round three. We're against Bud Zick. Would you like to play first? Yes. I'll keep this hand. This deck is really fun to play. Do I want to lead on bridge and then Spectre on two? I don't think so. Let's just... Go aggro. Island. Interesting. What are we against? Snacker brew? Looks like it. Discard double snacker. If they had that, they would get snap discard, right? Double basking root walla on turn one? Blue green madness? Oh my god. Wow. Cannot say I was expecting that. <laughs> Cleansing Wildfire. Of course I drew the Wildfire after not playing the tap land on one. So now I can play tap land and do nothing this turn. I can play Great Furnace, pass. Crack Clue, next turn, play Bridge, Cleansing Wildfire Bridge. I think that's better. I don't think I need to like get strands into the yard quite yet. So it's just playing on Crack Clue here. If they don't play untapped green source, they can't threaten to pump these root wallows. Yeah, so now I, they can't attack. Okay, Thriving Isle, not even the gate. We're up against a brew, that's for sure. We're playing a brew. Crack clue. The last is actually pretty good. So now I get, now I play Goldmire Bridge. I guess I play Rustvale Bridge, you get Swamp. I think that's a little bit better. I'm not really sure. It's kind of similar. Cleansing Wildfire, my bridge. Get Swamp. Another strands. And if they attack and they, if they want to pump, I can just take four. That's not a big deal. I don't want to lose my inspector though. I want that to be able to flash back these strands. Because next turn, I can like 
Faithless looting away these strands, and then I can threaten a block into flashback strands. Like, yeah, if this is all they're doing, that's not even that good. Like, they took their whole turn to deal two extra damage. I'm fine with that. And I can even have Galblast to break it up even further. I don't. I probably don't even need to flashback strands. Black? They're like a bug mag madness deck? Ooh, refurbished familiar. Nice. I think I can lead on Faithless Looting. I have two artifacts right now. Ooh, Ephemerate is great too. Nice. And Goliath Paladin. These are like all cards I really want to see. So two can play at this game. They careful study, discard double root walla. I faith this looting, discard double strands. Which one's better? I'd say it's the strands. And then I can just familiar, leave up ephemerate and galvanic blast. Plus leave black leave up flashback strands. I don't need to like blast anything right now. Oh, they discard deep analysis though? Who's gotten in the value now? It's them. Okay. Also, next turn, we're going to be able to play Paladin and then have Ephemerate up still. Are they going to jam? It's not going to work out for them, I don't think. Right, and by that, I mean it won't because I have Strands for Strands Green. I, they could try to counter it, I suppose. Okay, they pump once. Okay, are they going to pump twice? They do. So I can Galvanic Blast one of their things, but I mean, I just don't need to do that. I'm just going to Strands Green. They basically paid four mana to get one of my Strands, which it's not even that, it's not like bad for them. But now I'm going to get to resolve Paladin and have Ephemerate up for it. Ooh, and Elementalist. All right, that's sick. Paladin. I guess just no attack. I don't need to. Just don't want any weird bounce stuff to happen. I don't think there's any need to attack. Still have strands up. That's one thing I like about this brew so much, just the Boros Initiative brew basically, is Initiative and Monarch plus Strands is such a good combo. The Modern Age, okay. Really cool to see Blue Green Madness though. This card Dark Withering. Okay, yeah, I forgot it was Bug Madness. So now they're gonna try to destroy target non-black creature on my Paladin and then I'll Ephemerate. And if they have a counter or something, that's fine. Nice. And I guess I'm just going for the aggressive line. I don't need to value here, I don't think. Honestly, pretty brave coming in with these Madness decks. I, I guess the best Madness deck is just Rakdos Madness Burn, but it's more of a burn deck, playing all good cards. Okay, let's rebound. Let's venture, and then we'll take another step through. Let's trap you, and then rebound, Ephemerate, Flicker, Paladin again. Go archives, draw, and then draw for turn, and then I can elementalist back, ephemerate, and keep going. I guess I can hit throne right now, which I probably want to do. Can also like almost kill them. Guess I just lead on familiar. Or can I could I have killed them? 
could if I didn't play this, I go four mana, play Elementalist, fifth mana, ephemerate it. I don't know, I'm still one mana short of triple gal blasting. Obsessive search, value against familiar, okay. I guess that is something, these familiars, making them discard cards, isn't that bad for them. They have so many madness outlets. Okay, then let's just go Elementalist. Get back Ephemerate. Always yield. Ephemerate right now. Throne. This is just getting so much stuff. That's why this deck is so fun to play. We can get another Elementalist, but we'll just get a huge Paladin, I think. Take the initiative again. Get Mountain. Attack with both. I think I already played a land. Yeah. Okay. That's why the Faithless Looting also in low numbers is so good in this deck. Like being able to discard lands later, discarding strands. Helps smooth out your draws. Kitchen it. Okay. So it is just straight bug madness. Could even be like blue black madness with basking root walla. They should be playing at least the gates to like threaten that they have um what's it called? Basilisk Gate. Alright, Pyroblast. I think that's all I want. Breath, they have Kitchen Imp, Fruit Wallas. Do I want Breath Weapon? I don't think so. And Familiar is a little sketchy against them. Because they even have Obsessive Search. They have Dark Withering. They have Deep, deep Analysis. But if they're tapped out, then I can play Familiar and it's still good. Oh, they even have the zero mana. They have that one one. Whatever it's called. They have Basking Root Wallas. I think I'm just going to do this. Just keep it clean. Keep in the one Dawnbringer Cleric. Keep in Strands. Just... Get a bunch of pyroblasts for their blue spells. Seems good. Let's go game two. The game two against Bug Madness. I'll keep this hand. This hand looks fine. Braven, Pyroblast, a couple Overseers, Thriving More. Yeah, you really want to be playing the Gates. You should never be playing Thriving Lands anymore, as far as I know, because with the Gates at least, they do the same thing as the Thriving Lands. The only reason you'd play these if you wanted like more than four of the blue gate, then you could just play like the blue thriving land if you had like a base blue five color deck, let's say. But you can at least threaten or like I could have Basilisk Gate in my deck, you don't know, if you're playing the uh the gates. So they're just straight up better. That being said, everybody makes those mistakes. In one of my previous videos, I was playing Fiery Cannonade over Breath Weapon. Just a mistake when Breath Weapon is just straight up better. So, happens to uh, all of us. Interesting if I could have just led Mountain, just left up Mountain there to try to just counter this, but I'm just going to kill it now. I have to deal with this. I don't want to let them loot again. And I'm just going to Pyroblast it now while they're tapped out. Letting them loot again makes it a lot easier for them to get back Snacker. Plus, it's going to turn into the 2-3 flyer, which I have to deal with anyway. So, yeah, just kill it. 
I'm just going to F6. I know I could represent Ephemerate here, but uh, I'm not going to. And there's Thriving More named Green. So they have one green source right now. They play Nihil Spellbomb. Sure. I mean, this deck does want to do Ardent Elementalist loops, but it can just also be fine just like casting its stuff normally. Just playing a mid-range game, which we're going to do this game. Hopefully they don't play a creature and I can just Palace Sentinels here. Do have to watch out for Snacker, but we already have one blocker for that now. Cleansing Wildfire, nice. No bridge yet. We do have 11 bridges in this deck, so I think I'm playing one more bridge in this deck than I am in uh, Boros Initiative. Triple Thriving more. Interesting. Wonder how many moors or how many of these lands they're playing. Green, blue. It's just so costly to be playing all these tap lands, especially if you don't have like the gate payoff. I guess we have 11 tap lands in our deck too, so can't really say anything. Are they just going to double spell bomb, get back snacker? No. A curse marauder. Why? I mean, this card is cool. I guess it's just a, an edict. Which is good, but I, I guess I'm just not understanding why in this deck specifically. Maybe just as an edict. All right, just gonna just gonna monarch. They have two cards in hand. We have four. Plus, we just go up to five with monarch. Dawnbringer cleric. Ooh, we can exile that snacker. I was about to say something so dumb. Ooh, tasty. <laughs> I guess I said it. <laughs> Shit. Deep analysis, get back snacker. Okay, we're too late. I can exile the deep analysis. That's even better, honestly. All right, so let's go play Dawnbringer Cleric, exile deep analysis, play Inspiring Overseer, attack with Palace Sentinels. Exiled Heart Card from our graveyard, get that. And then land Overseer. And then no attack with Overseer, but I will attack with Palace Sentinels. Just because you want to do it this way, because if they had one removal spell, they could just, if I attacked with this, they could just kill this Overseer, attack, take the Monarch. But this way, they need to have two removal spells, and that takes a lot of their turn. And then if they took the Monarch, we could probably take it back anyway. Um, but definitely better to just have two Flying Blockers to protect our Monarch. Obsessive Search. Cycle. Thriving Isle. Name Black. Er. And cast Kitchen Imp, attack with both, make me block block. Yeah. Okay. Now I can slam Paladin, get a basic. I think I have one more mountain, right? No, I only have two, I only have two mountains. Okay, well, I drew Swamp, so that's actually pretty good, because now I can leave up Pyroblast and Galblast to play this. I, not and, I, either one. I have them both up. Two more planes in the deck. So we this deck can run out of basics, because I'm playing a couple of these, but uh, I think it's fine. Did not think I was going to be siding out I and mean, refurbish familiar at all this league. But so it goes. Let's 
Snacker's a really cool card. I like the design. All right, let's forge onto Palace Sentinels. They're going to kill it. Tap six. Dark Withering. There's bridge. Okay, we have one more basic in the deck. Let's lead on Aspiring Overseer. Another Pyro. I think I should not play a Cleansing Wildfire this turn. And just leave up double Pyro. I guess I could have tapped differently. But this is fine. They have one card. We have six drawing an extra card from Monarch up to seven. And we have double interaction up. With our choice of Gal West or double Pyro. And we got them. Yeah, this deck is a cool idea. Seems like it's just not quite powerful enough. Because even when you're going like modern age discard obsessive search, you're not getting that much value. Then your modern age turns from loot into draw card and you have to pay one mana. So I think there's some things like to work out basically with, with, with that list maybe there's just maybe it's just not quite powerful enough but it does look uh fun it was cool to see like double root walla off uh you know the careful study in game one but this should be a good matchup for us we want to play against these other kind of mid-rangey decks because this deck is slow and clunky but just kind of crushes like the other mid-rangey type strategies um so Nice. Two and one after getting crushed by Tron. Let's go round four. All right. Thought back to two and one. We're against William Marshall. Got a mulligan this one great furnace hand, and this looks a lot, lot better. I think I can just put back Faith as looting, actually. Turn one tap land, turn two wildfire, turn three wildfire, and then just start paladining. I don't need to loot away anything I have. Hopefully it's we're not against a really aggressive deck. Forest. Okay, Boggles is scary, but our Boggles matchup is okay because we have strands. This hand, though, if their draw is reasonable, we're just going to get crushed. Okay. Not too worried about Abundant Growth. Didn't want to see, like, Rancor into Ethereal Armor. Okay. They attack for two. They're on the play. Our hand's slow. So we are in trouble, but this is not over yet. I guess I play Great Furnace, Wildfire, get Plains. Ooh, I could kill... I could Cleansing Wildfire the Plains. But I think I need to ramp. Mono Paladins, huh? Next turn, we can go Wildfire, leave up Bolt, Bolt the Warrior. That way on turn, on the next turn, I can play Paladin and protect the initiative, hopefully. Another Gal Blast. Go and cap these two, leave up White Mana? No. Cleanse the Wildfire, this. Yes, get another Plains. There's Ephemerate. Play Mountain past the turn. And I'm going to... I could be okay here. Oh, they have Trample, though. Let's see. I can Goliath Paladin and Ephemerate. Do they have, like, another way to pump? It looks like they don't, though. Okay, so I Gal Blast the Warrior. Feeling like I could be okay here. I get to Goliath Paladin, get another Plains, and then have Ephemerate up. 
So I need to dodge them drawing like another good enchant creature. Or I need to draw Dawnbringer Cleric. My one of. Get to go up to four Dawnbringers though. Ardent Elementalist. All right, so we just go Paladin. They're going to they're gonna take the initiative, but I can block this one, and then I can flicker, take back the initiative on their turn, and then trigger it two more times. So again, if, I, if they don't draw like an Ethereal Armor type card, I could be okay here. Can also even consider just blocking the 4-4. Four -four. Since I'm going to be able to have two Paladins next turn, I take less damage this way. They played another land. Don't want to see a big enchant creature this turn, please. The Trample is really what's getting us. But now if we find Strands, I think we win. Because then we have Strands, Ephemerate, Ardent Elementalist, which is Infinite Fogs. Oh, only attacking with that? What? Okay. I'm going to block. And I obviously just get to Ephemerate Paladin. Oh, they have ran through instant speed. Okay. So if I Ephemerate, they get in for... Four damage and take the initiative. But then on my upkeep, I just take it back. So all they're going to get is a basic. So I just ephemerate now before this resolves. Still feeling okay about this game, honestly. I guess I lost well. I want to find strands. I don't need to get a faster clock or anything. I just want to scry. Do I need a, do I need an untapped land? I have five, six mana. And I can stash next turn to have up to seven. No, I just I just want strands. Okay, and then they hit for four, gain the life, take the initiative. But I get to upkeep ephemerate my Goliath Paladin here. Yield to that. Take back the initiative and then step through again. Right? Or do I just get it only this time? I guess I can arena their other Glade cover shot or even arena this, this one. I think I'd rather have the mana. I guess I only get the one time, or do I get it during draw? I forget. I guess I only get the one. Okay. Now my choice is just play another Paladin to have more toughness, or play Elementalist to get back Ephemerate. I think I like just playing another Paladin. I get a Catacombs, I get a 4-1 as well. Sick. And then I play Bridge, pass the turn. I really don't want to see Ancestral Mask. That's the worst possible card for them to draw. They slam another basic into play. Abundant Growth, no Ancestral Mask. Any other card. I don't want to see Ethereal Armor either, but specifically don't want to see Ancestral Mask. Okay. Wedgewalker is scary. But I can throw into a flyer here. Gotta prioritize that. If I hit one. 
think we're really far ahead at this point. So Dawnbringer Cleric starts killing all their enchantments, but it still can't block Ledgewalker. It's pretty tempting since I can keep flickering Dawnbringer Cleric, but again, then I get hit by Ledgewalker and they're one step away from uh, trapping me and killing me. I mean, I guess I could gain life with Dawnbringer too, but I think it's easier just to take Familiar. Maybe that's wrong. Spirit Link, okay. Well, now what I can do is I can Elementalist, get back Ephemerate, during their draw step, flicker my Refurbished Familiar. Oh, but then I can't block the Ledge Walker. Um, do I want to just get Palace Sentinels down? Even if they draw a big enchantment put on this, I can still block this turn. I have one, two, three... Four, five, six, seven, eight mana. Four, five, six, seven, eight mana. Could give them one draw, but it's kind of risky, I feel like. I guess I'll just power Sentinels next turn. Get back Ephemerate. I suppose I can attack with my Paladins here. Yeah. This has Hexproof too, but yeah. Still think I'm fine ephemerating the refurbished familiar because I can start doing this every turn too to keep them from basically drawing any relevant spell. They can attack and trade, which I guess breaks up my loop, but then I deal with their ledge walker this way. Because th their deck doesn't really have instants. They're laughing. <laughs> they said, ha, 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 ha. they said good combo. Thank you. <laughs> This is what we drew up. This is just like we drew it up. They concede. Yeah. So we had this, again, rat lock. Still, you can still call it rat lock. Sick. Okay, now we get infinite dawn ringers. And breath weapons. The targeted removal spells can come out. This looks good to me. Pretty straightforward side we're playing. This is, I think, maybe our best possible matchup. I don't think I've ever lost to Affinity playing Boros Initiative, just because you have the Strands combo, you um, have Dawnbringer Clerics, you have like some card manipulation, library manipulation. You have like basically everything you could ever want. And Quad Dawnbringer is uh, pretty sick. Hmm. Sin's not good. I wonder if I should just mulligan and try to find Dawnbringer. We have, like, n no hate cards at all. We get to draw two cards with this hand, and it is, it is functional, but... Yeah, I'm going to keep, because if I find one of the four Dawnbringers, I have the Ephemerate already, and I have mana to play out my threats, or to play out all my cards. Oh, and that was a fantastic draw. I'm going to lead on Bridge, though, so I can Wildfire on turn two. Rancor? No. They found Armadillo Cloak. Do they have a white untapped White Source? I don't know, though. Ancestral Mask is scary. There it is. Just drew like literal perfects. So, so there's that. So now I'm gonna go Plains, Cleansing Wildfire, getting Swamp. Oh, 
That was a good draw too. And then next turn I could just leave up Breath Weapon. They might just Ancestral Mask here. Oh wow. I just get massively rewarded. I'm just going to go Tap Land Pass, leave up Breath Weapon, and they'll probably go for something. And then uh, if they don't, I'll still just Breath Weapon. But this way, if they go for Ancestral Mask, I just get to uh, Breath Weapon in response. Nice. Looks like we're most likely going to uh, green one here. I think I'm fine to just play Overseer. Paladin's good. I got rewarded by keeping this hand that was functional, but I drew into like the best two possible cards, and their draw was an awkward Boggles draw, which usually, honestly, I mean, this matchup is, like I said, our best matchup, but usually this is how Boggles loses, not because like of the of bad matchups for Boggles. It's mostly like if Boggles functions, the uh, opponent is super nice here. Say GL with your next game. So thank you, you as well. Always love to see that. But yeah, my point is Boggles often dies to itself, not to the opponent. And when it has really good draws, the opponent can't interact, they just die. Um, so <laughs> sometimes, you know, the opponent can sideboard in edicts and these Dombringers and like get enough actual interaction in order to fight the Boggles deck. And then sometimes the Boggles deck just dies to itself too. So there's that. All right, three and one. Let's uh, try to four on this league. That's my old standard. So let's see if we can bring it back. All right, welcome to the fifth and final round. We're against Lokes, one, two, three. Um, can't keep this one, Lander. It's small. This one we can keep. Keep this. What am I putting back? Great Furnace? It's my untapped red source, though. I kind of want to keep Swamp, too. I don't know what to put back. I could put back Rustvale Bridge, but then you know we're going to draw Cleansing Wildfire. I think it can put back Rustvale Bridge. Because then I have all three colors, three untapped lands. I can go Thraven, Crack Clue, or have Gal Blast up. I think it's just the uh, the play here. Take this looting. Not good yet. We don't have like stuff we want to discard yet. That's why that only the two phase is looting in this deck. Okay, cycle war in. Could be against like another snacker deck. Ooh, Fjord. It looks like we're just up against blue red control or blue red fey. That's fun. Fjord pass. Okay. They're just setting up their mana. There's an ephemerate. I don't mind just ephemerating right now, getting clues. But I think I, I think I can do better than that. I think I'm just going to attack for one. Crack clue, end of their turn. It's just more mana efficient. Can leave up blast here for what that's worth. I don't need to like ephemerate three bin and then they just bolt it and I lose my ephemerate. I can just save the ephemerate for a better like fight over a creature later. Got Clue, Palace Sentinels, okay. Refurbish Familiar with now one artifact in play, so that kind of sucks. I'll lead on attacking, and I'm considering playing Faithless Looting. If I go for Ephemerate and they just bolt, it's pretty annoying for me. I could also just play Refurbish Familiar for three mana. Funnily enough, I don't hate that. First three mana Familiar I cast. Opponent's probably like, what is happening? 
Look at those janky board that we have. Counterspell. I'll be surprised if they don't counter this. We can include him to look for lands if we don't find one next turn. Don't really want to discard any of my cards, but I could discard this Palace Sentinels and or this Goliath Paladin, just a little sketchy against what our opponent has. They could easily flash into Spell Stutter Sprite or how it resolved. They discard a counter spell rather than just countering. Okay. They want a breath weapon. Kind of fine with that. Okay, they monarch. I guess we can monarch back. Oh no, we can't. Oh man. They probably have another counter spell. But I need to just fate this. I guess I was just gonna Galvlast tap land go. Hope they don't have another counter. It's pretty sketchy. Faithless looking for untapped red source is just way too sketchy too. Just shock that. Tap land go. They get to draw one more card off Monarch, and again, we just cross our fingers to hope they don't have second counter spell. I don't know if they're going to reveal counter. Brainstorm. So they have a Brainstorm and two unknowns. They could scred our Palace Sentinels as well. Refurbish Familiar. It's tempting to just play that. And then if they like try to play a burn spell on Familiar, I go for Ephemerate. And then Palace Sentinels next turn. I think I'll start with Faithless Looting. Okay, discard Mountain, Goliath Paladin, I think. I think I just need these other cards even more. Play an Artifact Land. Play a Refurbished Familiar for one. And a Brainstorm. They counterspell this, this could be okay for us. Because then I might be able to resolve Palace Sentinels next turn. And obviously, you hope they just don't have any counter, but. Okay, they discard a card. They discard a brainstorm. Let's see if they go for a bolt right now. It's unfamiliar. Hopefully, they do. Nice. Looks like they are. Do it. They didn't do it. It's not good. Flare and terror, but tapping a mountain, scary. Another terror? Okay. They have one card left. So I take one, attack, take the monarch. They're going to bolt. They're going to scred. Okay, so now I go Ephemerate. Then I draw a card. Great Furnace. And they get to draw from Monarch. And then I'm going to Ephemerate again. Because I'm going to Palace Sentinels to take the Monarch anyway. Oh, they, they have to discard a card here. Yeah, okay. So I don't, I don't draw another one. But I discard their card. It's an auger. Ooh, that was a good draw too. I think I need to play Palace Sentinels this turn though. And I probably do need to play land as well. So then I'll draw one card for Monarch. I'm going to be taking a bunch of damage here. And they get the Monarch back. 
These are going to be kind of tough to beat right now. Oof. Faithless looting. We just need to like have two miss them, have them miss on like these two draw steps here. Attacking with everything. I think I'm just taking 10, blocking here. Because if I can just, again, weather this storm of what's happening right now, attack, take back the monarch, and then protect the monarch with strands. I think I'm going to win the game. They drew a theater, so I need them to miss one more time. If they draw a land here, I'm in a really good spot. And if they wait to bolt, I'm also in a good spot. Okay, nice. Let's go. Six mana. I attack with just familiar. Mm, I could attack with both, because I'm going to play Overseer too. Let's attack with both. See if Strands is good enough to, to win us this game. Feeling good about our position since we hit this. Insane on this board. We get the Monarch. And then I go... Tap like this. Overseer. Counterspell. Okay. Fine with that. And then I go play bridge, draw for monarch. On their upkeep, I'm in a strands named blue, so this will resolve. Elementalist, let's go. That keeps our loop going. And then let's go upkeep, strands named blue. F6. If they find another, like, Commodore or Monarch card, that's pretty annoying. Lorian Revealed, that's also really good. Ponder, jeez. Forgot how good these blue decks are. <laughs> maybe shouldn't have attacked with Palace Sentinels, but maybe that was a little greedy. They did have the, the counter for the Inspiring Overseer. Now, what am I elemental in this back? Ephemerate, or is that a little too greedy? I think that's okay. Should get Ephemerate back. I don't have to cast it right now. Okay, and they're tapped out. Nice, that's huge, because now I can Elementalist back, Ephemerate, Ephemerate Elementalist now, and then get back strands to hand to continue to protect the monarch. Then I'll also have Palace Sentinels untapped as well to flashback strands next turn if I need to. They played a lot of cantrip and draw spells, but I think we're still ahead at this point. What a game. This is a hell of a card. Played a three mana refurbished familiar. All right, I don't know why they're attacking. Ooh, we drew another ephemerate. I think I just want to like, get all my value. Let's see if there is a galvanic blast here though. And they're at fifteen. Attack them down to thirteen. I have one, two, three, four. I can elementalist back galv blast. Play it. Ephemerate, Gal Blast again, but that's still only eight. So I can't do any of that. So what I need to do is just attack for two. And then I can Ardent Elementalist, get back Ephemerate, cast Ephemerate on Elementalist, get back Prismatic Strands. And then I could Ephemerate again, but I think I'd rather just save the other one in hand. Elementalist, get back. Oh wait, now I won't have enough to cast Prismatic Strands. 
Hmm. This is a problem. Do I have to just flashback the strands? They could easily have another counter. I think I underestimated how much mana I have. I could no, I can just I can just get back prismatic strands and then cast it, and then if they counterspell it, I can flash it back. And then I still have ephemerate in hand. Alright. I like it. I think this is the safest line. Draw. Paladin is good. Upkeep. Cast strands. They can play a removal spell, but I name blue. That protects my monarch. And we're about even on time, so I'm doing okay on time. Yep. Definitely don't want to F6. I might want to flashback strands, potentially. We have another ephemerate in hand. We have three cards. And they're at 13. Draven. That's a good draw, actually. Start by attack. For... Let's just start by playing this and seeing if it resolves. It's a good blocker for these terrors. Oh, I tapped wrong. I meant to leave up an additional white mana. Oh my god. Counterspell. Oh man, tapping wrong was so bad. I needed to leave up white, white. <laughs> kind of want to just flash back to strands now, though. So I think I'm going to. can even let them attack because then we might be able to attack for more damage and kill them. Scred the Palace Sentinels right now. Sure. Are they going to counter this? No. Okay. Can flashback strains on their turn? I think I just do it on upkeep. Actually, they've already used three counter spells. I think I can force them to attack. But then again, I have a bigger attack back. Just let them draw a card. Interesting that they went for the Palace Sentinels, maybe just because it's a 2 4. It's too greedy, I think, to go for the double block on Augur, is it? And then if they counter the Prismatic Strands, I die. Just flashback strands. I might be able to kill them next turn. Name blue. F6. I'm not sure if I played this game that well and I definitely needed to leave up white white this turn. That was a huge mistake. That could potentially cost me. Another removal spell here. Breath weapon my entire board away. Alright, there's refurbished familiar. They're at eleven. Start with, I think I can start with Crack Clue. No, let's start with Familiar. Discard your last card. It was an island. Crack Clue. Draven is good. Play Raven, and then just pass. 
cleansing the wildfire. Probably going to I could try to kill one of these terrors. They attack with all. I don't think I need to kill one of the terrors. I think I just go Galvanic Blast this. See if that resolves. Go block block and then flicker my refurbished familiar. Get four Pyroblast post board here too. They discard their card. It's a land. Yep. Okay. And then I'm gonna flicker my familiar again. Draw a card. Gotta play a little faster here too. But I think we're okay. Gotta win this game. Draw another familiar and an elementalist. So elementalist should allow me to win right now, right? Or do I still not have enough mana? Elementalist. I don't have enough mana. But it should still be enough total, I think. It's just familiar draw. Another ephemerate. Wow. One, two, three, four. Elementalist. Get back ephemerate. Yield. Ephemerate now. Uh, I have double ephemerate in hand. I guess I just go block block and then try to ephemerate elementalist during their turn. Yeah. Cast out. Well, that's good. That's what we needed to actually kill these. We just don't actually have that much mana. Ooh, I could have flickered familiar during draw. Could have discarded their ponder. Probably should have done that. Okay, I'm still learning with this deck. I still feel like we're in a good position. About a minute and a half behind on clock. So I'll try to try to make that up here. This match could go really long. They ponder, they don't shuffle, they play Murmuring Mystic, which I can kill. And they have no cards in hand. So yeah, I'm in still a fantastic position here. So now I go block, block, ephemerate both my things. And then I can kill them next turn with Galvanic Blasts. I guess I don't even need to um, flicker this one. I can just kill them now. Just gonna galvanic blast a couple times. Blast looking good. Probably could have had an easier time winning this game than I did, but we got there in the end. Held on to the monarch, which was nice. This is exactly what we want. I think that's. The only card we want to bring in. Dawnbringer seems bad. Strands was really good there, but I don't know if I need four copies of it. Even though I was like, oh, I really want to find Strands. It was pretty unique because of the Monarch. And them initiating the Monarch back and forth. I think usually it's not going to be that way. Don't really want Faithless Looting in my deck at all. Should I keep the one Dawnbringer Cleric in? I feel like it doesn't do anything. Could keep in one Looting. I guess it's fine. I like the sideboard plan. I almost had the fifth Pyroblast as well, but... We have the four Dawnbringers, which obviously was nice to have against Boggles. I 
All right, I'll keep Clunky Hand, but got a couple cast downs for their terrors. I'm going to try to play fast. I was playing pretty fast as well. I had to play carefully in that last game too, but I'm going to try to up my speed to get ahead on clock this game if possible. Because then even if I lose, I could uh, put the time pressure on my opponent for game three. No old border novice inspector is a huge, uh, huge loss. Hopefully I'm playing triple, uh, triple th Thraven, yeah, double novice. That's the, that's the call. You gotta split them up though as evenly as possible because there are cards that deal damage to, or do stuff to each creature with the same name. So it's straight up incorrect to play 4-1. Like echoing truth in that cycle. Augur. Blank Augur. They look like they're going to hit. Counterspell. That's a good hit. I'm going to try to draw land. Never mind. I guess I could have played Overseer. Should have done that. I was just on autopilot trying to hit the land. It's okay, this is still fine. It's still three mana creature draw card, but getting the flyer down would have been better for sure. Maybe we'll get rewarded by like having cast down up here, but probably not. So we know about counter spell. We know about Fjord that they're probably gonna play. And they leave up counter. Yeah, I wish I played Overseer last turn. That's pretty bad. No land here would be really bad, but we got lucky to hit. I should F6, even though I want to like rep memory, I think my clock is more important than that, honestly. So I'm just going to F6. Also, it's like, even if we had Ephemerate, would I want to Ephemerate an Inspector? Not really. I love the cast downs in this, in this deck, too. We, ha we haven't gotten to really utilize them this league, but I think they're really good to have. Should I just let them counter an Overseer? I mean, I think so. I have double Paladin in hand. I'll let them counterspell this. Kind of looks like we have Pyroblast now. Okay, let it resolve. Nice. Mountain's great. I guess I could have been attacking, but they're going to breath up in my entire board. Don't love that. The good news is I don't think they have any ninjas. The bad news is... They just <laughs> killed their big creatures. Again, it's okay. All of those creatures drew a card. So I think we're still okay. Double cast down, elementalist, double paladin. Our hand is really good. Like if they just terror, I can just kill it. One, two, three, four spells in yard. Feeling decent about this matchup. Palace Sentinels. Is it too, too greedy to just play that? I don't think so. I'm going to do it. Play Sentinels. They snap, let it resolve, which I guess is kind of bad for me. Draw a card. They spread it. Okay, so I'm going to cast down. They're going to counterspell. We'll see if I can fight back. Giving them the monarch here. Sketchy. They counterspell this. I'll take the initiative. Hopefully. Maybe that was just a bad play. Maybe I could have just cast strands, put it in the graveyard at some point. And I, I'm still okay. If 
we have another counter spell, maybe I'm not, but what do I do? Just jam Paladin or jam Ardent Elementalist? Okay, Gorilla Shaman, sure. Ooh, Refurbished Familiar is fantastic because that can take back the Monarch. Let's play Familiar. I can cast down the Terror right now for four mana. I can also play Goliath Paladin tapping out. I think I like Killing Terror right now. I'm going to do it. Kill Terror. Give them the Monarch for a little bit longer. Threaten to take it back, though. Murmuring Mystic, oh god. Into Ponder. That is not good. Like an Elementalist back, cast down, cast down the Mystic. They just are monarching here, unfortunately. I still think I'm probably going to have to Elementalist back, cast down, kill this right now. I cannot let this just stick around. There's no no way. I can still fight through this. Bolt that. That's fine. Okay, there's a Galva Blast. Elementalist. Get back. Cast down. Cast down this right now. And then pass the turn. One card in hand, drop to two. They attack for some amount of damage. Two. I think I will Galvanic Blast the Augur right now. Oh, man. That is bad news for me. Let's just try to kill this. Do they have a counter? Maybe. Scred that, okay. One, two, three, four, five. Get planes, play planes. Leave up strands. Pass. Not gonna do it on upkeep. Or force them to Throw in a big attack if they want to. Oh, attacking with the Shaman too? All right. Block the Shaman and then Strands Blue. Now they need double counter to stop this or removal spell right now plus counter out of two cards. Now they need another blocker or I get to... Take back the Monarch and the Initiative back, and then replay another Paladin, and have Strands up. Wow. I'm like in the driver's seat here. I mean, if they have another Terror, that's what they need, basically. And I'm almost caught up on time as well. I'm just a couple seconds behind. Okay, now I... Oh, yeah, they never got... Oh, they never even got to take the initiative. Wow. Um, I'll forge. No scred. Ooh, Elementalist. Let's attack. And then Elementalist back. Prismatic Strands. Strands just doing work. Such a good card in Popper. Everything's like monocolor. It's just so strong. Elementalist back strands. 
it's better than cast down because I get to just maintain these monarch and initiatives with strains. I have my 5 8 vigilance. I'm not gonna strands on upkeep, I don't think. I don't think there's a need to. That was a great draw as well. Just force them to attack here. I probably should attack with their birds though. Cast Warrior Revealed. Yeah, I don't think I care. I don't think they, like, if they counter this strands, that's okay. I can flash it back. Strands blue. I could go for Ephemerate, but I don't think I need to. I think I can wait. I also get to trap them. Yeah, let's just wait. Yield on the Venture Trigger and go trap you. Another strands would actually be good. And then let's attack with Paladin. Play another Paladin. No Faithless Looting. Let's see if they have a counter. They have five cards in hand. They do. If I go for Ephemerate right now, they could easily have a removal spell. Uh, I don't think so. Pyroblast? Bridge. I'm just going to flashback strands using my Paladin here. Hands falling asleep. Brainstorm, sure. They've used two counters. And even if they counter take initiative in Monarch, still definitely beatable. They played two Screds. They have potentially two more Screds. They brought in Gorilla Shaman, but that's not really that good against us. I think we have three targets in our land, land base for that. Okay, it looks like they might counter this Strands. We'll see. They do. Okay. They have four cards in hand. So I, unless they play another blocker, now what I can do is I can attack with both of my creatures, unless they play another creature. They're at six. They have four cards in hand. Still behind on time a little bit here. I need to auto yield the more stuff, I think. They play land, play Gorilla Shaman. That's annoying. Do I go for the flicker now? I don't think so. I want to draw more interaction. Pyroblast. Pyroblast is exactly what I needed. So need to think for a second, because I could Pyroblast the Terror right now. They only have one more Counterspell in deck. Yeah. Just going to cast. Destroy this. I'll pay the ward. Yes. Attack with both. I can even Ephemerate my Paladin to get another initiative trigger, potentially. Attack with both. Might even just chump the Paladin, go to four. They bolt that. I think I'd go for Ephemerate now on the Elementalist. Then I could get back Galvanic Blast, clear the way for my Paladin. Cast into the fire. All right, it's bad. They chump. They have Monarch and Initiative. I still have a 5-8, though. I 
Okay, and I'm just behind 20 seconds here. They're forging. They're going to attack for three, hit me down to 10. Two bolts gone, two shreds gone. If they have another shred, I guess I lose. They can trap next turn, so I'm almost dead. But they're almost dead too. What a match. Second Murmuring Mystic. That's scary. Pyroblast. Cast it. So they get to trap me. So if they have bolts, I die. Because they can hit me for three, then bolt me down to negative one. Augur. Ponder. We could draw a Paladin. We have a lot of good draws. We could draw a Refurbish Familiar. Galloplast doesn't quite do it. They cast the Ponder. Also getting a little ahead on time here, which is good. I want to be up on time as much as possible if there's a game three. Terror. Familiar. They discard a card. I'll attack. Guess I'm not dead on board. They discarded a breath weapon. Why didn't they just... Oh, why didn't they just cast breath weapon? That doesn't make any sense. Breath weapon would kill me. Maybe they didn't realize. Okay, that's still lethal. Okay, oh, it's still lethal just with the bird. Okay. Dang. I'm up a minute. Whew. I was so close. I thought I was going to have that game for sure. They just were able to stabilize. Of course, Magic Online won't let me draw cards. Opponents disconnecting and probably reconnecting to Magic Online to try to save time. I think I'm just going to run it back. I don't think I want more strands. Let's just draw some more Pyroblast, shall we? Let's go game three. Welcome to game three. I'm going to try to play fast here, be on the play. Got a mulligan. Oh, we got a mulligan again. All right, I have to keep this. Let's put back these cards, I guess. I could put back a Gallop Blast. Bridge go. This hand is really bad. That was good. Exactly what we needed. Guess I get second red source. Not sure. Just gonna jam familiar next turn. Hopefully we draw another artifact land so I can leave up Pyroblast. They still have to kill me, but I did mold a five, which sucks. Wasn't able to Pyroblast that either. Okay, nice. Go. I also do have Metalcraft. I could Galvanic Blast this. Discarded a lose focus from them. I'm just going to try to stay up on time. That's my main goal here. Orion. I think I'm going to. I think I am going to Galvanic Blast this Augur. Just makes it a lot easier for me to play fast. Land? Oh, ephemerate. Not bad. I think I'm going to Ephemerate right now. Mm, no. 
about. Brainstorm, sure. Ooh, adrenaline's going here. I'm just gonna leave up counter. I think I'm gonna go for ephemerate. Uh, then they could just have a removal spell. I shouldn't. Another ephemerate. That's good. Now I can go for ephemerate at the end of their turn. Fjord. Okay, I can just. All right, not Fjord. Florian. I can just keep going. Only up about a minute on time, but this game could certainly come down to time since this matchup goes really long. Look at how many cantrips they have to play. I have a pyroblast too, which is nice. It's coming right down to it. Okay, I'll try to pyroblast this. And they're going to counter. Then I go ephemerate right now. Then if they have a Removal spell, I have to play second ephemerate. Okay, just worked. Maybe they just F6'd. But I'm going to go for it again. Nice. Discard their entire hand here. Yield. Oh, I can't find them. Discard your whole hand. And draw an untap land. Another familiar. I'll draw a card. Paladin. Do I have to chump? I guess I don't. I can take five. Yeah, I can just take. Paladin can block this. Overseer is good. What? Just lagging there. Bridge is great. Now I can attack. And erase this. I was like, oh, what did I gain one off? But obviously it was the Overseer. Which actually does change things. That was so sick. Discard like their entire hand with all these familiars. And they're just drawing lands. That sucks for them. Okay, well, this should do it. Um, I'm just going to destroy this now. Yes. F6. They need to draw another breath weapon. And even if they do, I had the paladins. Okay, we got we got them fair and square there. Maybe they could have taken a different line if they weren't under so much time pressure, but that's part of Popper. I mean, I was under time pressure as well, so we both had to try to play super fast. And I even took that like Gal Blaster Augur line just for time reasons, basically. Like, in a normal game, infinite time, I probably wouldn't have done that. So, there's definitely considerations to make, but we got the 4-1 with this Mardu Initiative deck with Refurbished Familiar. That was sick. Refurbished Familiar was fantastic. I mean, just as I would expect, this card's really, really good. Even when we had to cast it for three mana, it's not that bad. It's just like Liliana Spectre. It's like, that. we had to cast it for three mana once, maybe twice, um but even then it was like okay it's fine i'm still like committing to the board still having a two for one and then so often it was one mana two one flying draw card in that last game it was just like with the double ephemery that was insane it was what two mana they two mana lily on a specter and then double ephemery you discard your entire hand that was sick i just want us that, that just got us the four one there I mean, we got crushed by Alter Tron, but I think it's just a bad matchup. Just have to hope to Cleansing Wildfire them off of Tron and then get there on initiative or something. All right. Post deck, deck tech. This is a super, super fun league. I love playing these ephemerate loop decks in Popper, like Blue Eyed Evoke from the past, and then Boris Initiative kind of was just a more modern, better Evoke deck, so to speak. And then this deck, I think, is better than Boros Initiative. I don't know if we even need this Great Furnace. It might just leave us a little more susceptible. It could play, like, one more basic. Basically, I had no problem, basically, 
had no problem casting familiar and basically won't have an issue, I think, with one more basic. So let's make that change. Other than that, the list felt really nice. I want one way to bring back creatures from the graveyard. Again, I think that energy package, if you play, um, let's see if I can find it. I don't even know how to search for energy cards necessarily. Um, just go set Modern Horizons 3. Um, Galvanic Discharge. So what we could do is we could cut Galvanic Blasts and then find room to play four Galvanic dis Discharge and one or two Jolted Awake. Because then as you build up energy, you can Jolt it Awake and then you can Jolt it away back like Inspectors if you want or if you have extra energy, even get up to doing these. But now that I'm even thinking about it, Refurbished Familiar is good because you play it for one mana, but you don't want to spend four energy to jolt it away back familiar most of the time. So if anything, we could play like a late to dinner or something, but we were able to grind like totally fine. Um, it's like a weird looking deck, but um, it was pretty sweet. The other thing which we may want is some hard graveyard hate in the sideboard. Um, the problem is Relic exiled our own graveyard, which is bad with Elementalist and Strands. We could play like a Nihil Spell Bomb or two. But then we'd probably have to go down on, you know, not, I don't think I want to go down on Pyroblasts, but we'd have to go down on one of these other effects. We could go down to three Dawnbringer Clerics, but this is kind of doing double duty as our like hate card for mono red as like a two mana one three gain two. Plus it just like can randomly hose boggles and exile graveyards. So if anything, I would cut like one Dawnbringer for one Nihil, but I don't even know if that's having one Nihil, does that even like help you against Ultratron that much? Yes, it does. Then I'm kind of just worried against Mono Red though, with only like three Dawnbringers. Maybe there's some way to get another Dawnbringer into the main and play like in the Hill Spell Bomb. Could also go to like three Death to Dust, two Gorilla Shaman. What can I cut from the main? Like a Galvanic Blast? The list is like so much tighter now with Familiar. I could also play three Paladins, but Paladin has been great. Like the Vigilance body has been been solid. Can cut Gorilla Shaman, Dust to Dust. Don't really want to cut Breath Weapon. Maybe there's a way where we can play like one cast into the fire, cut a Breath Weapon. It's just so hard. I just don't really know what else to change. I like having the full four ephemerate, especially with these refurbished familiars like we saw in the last game was so good. Having only three deaths to does just feels bad. And same with same with Pyro. These other cards are just so strong. And like having one spell bomb, is that gonna like make my Alter Tron matchup really good? Or even like my dredge matchup good? I don't even know how dredge goes with, with strands, but Regardless, if I played another league, I guess I'd just run it back. Those are all just thoughts that I had of like ways that we could change the deck. Again, in closing, I like playing Refurbished Familiar, I think, over not. Um, so I think this deck is better than Boros Initiative, just because this card is so strong. Another option is to just not play Inspiring Overseer at all. Just cut this card, because now that we have Familiar, we have another similar effect to Overseer, except it usually costs one or two mana instead of three. So I could see, like, I guess we could cut, go down to two Overseer. I guess we could do this. I, I think I like this change. Yeah, and I like the change of cutting one more artifact land. So we have 11 bridges, 
two other lands, 13 artifact lands total, seven basics. That gives us one more basic for wildfire too, uh, and initiative fetching. Um, I, I like this build. Do we want actually another mountain or plains? Maybe I was wrong on that. We have four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12 red sources, and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11 white sources. I think that's good because we want a lot of white to cast inspectors, but we have one more red to cast cleansing wildfire, which can find white. So I guess I like adding another, cutting a great furnace, adding a mountain. So I cut a great furnace and added the mountain. Our, our sources stay the same, actually, just playing a basic. So without further ado, hope you enjoyed this league. It was a lot of fun. Again, appreciate all the support from the community, all the comments, loving it, loving being back, making some content. Also, let me know if you liked um the separate video of the brew again that one i already knew basically in my head exactly what to put in this deck it wasn't as much of a rough idea as much as take boros initiative put refurbished familiar into it so it was a pretty straightforward build but in the future i think i'm planning on making some more of those brewing session videos um i spend a lot of time brewing these decks that one was really fast but It'd be fun to make content out of those brewing sessions and uh that's kind of what i do on the channel um one just like brew decks and, and play them um so i think it's just uh content some people would like if, if they don't do well if people aren't watching them then i'll just brew you know in in peace and quiet but let me know if that if you liked that and then the separate video for the standard league um thanks so much for watching till next time peace